friends and happy spring! It's Miss Jill from the Cary Area Library and today I'm here to show you a cool spring themed art activity called oil marbling. Now because oil and water don't mix, we'll get some very cool and unique effects. Let's gather our materials, come on! Okay, so the supplies you'll need to do your oil marbling are some oil. Um, I'm using corn or uh, canola oil here. You can probably use any oil that's um, liquid at room temperature, should work. Um, a fork. I have a pipette. If you don't have one of these, you could also use a spoon. I have red, yellow, and blue food coloring. I have two pie plates here, um, and really all you need is something like a shallow, a shallow dish will work, and that's what I'm using pie plates because I think that, that works well. I have four smaller little cups, little bowls, and then I have some watercolor paper. I cut out um, some shapes of flowers and some raindrops, and then I also have some extra here, smaller pieces, just squares that I, you can play around with too. Now you might also want to have um, a tablecloth or something to protect your table, and it might be a good idea since we're working with oil that can stain your clothes to wear an apron or some old clothes that you don't care if they get dirty. I also have on hand a roll of paper towels which we'll, we will need to use later. Okay, so our first step is gonna be to mix our colors. And before we start putting in the colors, we're gonna add a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna add just about a teaspoon of oil, you don't need a whole lot, so I'm just gonna pour, you can measure, I'm just gonna sort of eyeball my measurement here and just pour a little bit in. But if you wanna get out your measuring spoons, you can do that too and measure your oil in. Okay. Alrighty, now we're gonna start working with our colors. And I am using the three primary colors, so it's red, yellow and blue. And with primary colors, you can also make secondary colors, so we're gonna make extra colors just with these three, which is pretty cool. Um, first, though, I'm gonna take my red and just make one um, cup here that's just red. So I'm gonna open that up and add about 10 drops of red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's probably good. Okay, now I want to make orange, and I didn't have orange here, did I? I just had red, yellow, and blue. Well, red and yellow actually make orange. We can make it. Um, so first, what we're going to do to make orange, it needs more yellow. So we're going to put about 10 drops of yellow in this next cup. One, whoop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and about two drops of red. One, two. And this is where you can use, for this one, I'll show you. I'm gonna use my fork and kind of mix it together and you can see, I hope, that's starting to turn orange. And then I'll mix this red one up too. Okay, so red, orange, and I'm just going to take my blue and just do one that's blue, and again about 10 drops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Miss Jill got a blue hand, but that's okay, it washes off. I'm just going to grab a paper towel here. Wipe that up, okay. And the other, for the next one, I am gonna use, do you know what's gonna happen if I take my red and my blue? What color do you think we'll make if we mix those together? It's purple. So we're gonna make purple. We're gonna do 12 drops of red this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, whoop, 11, 12, that came out fast, okay. And blue, I'm gonna do eight drops of blue in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now, if you make, if you do a little less or a little more of the drops, that's okay. So let's mix up the purple and see what it looks like. 
There's our purple, and let's mix up the blue with our fork. And there's our blue, okay. All right, we've mixed our four colors. Okay, now that we've mixed our colors and have those ready to go, we're gonna take our shallow plate or bowl and we're gonna pour a bit of water into it. We don't need a ton, maybe like, let's see, about like that, so it's not quite halfway full. Now, I'm going to marble, oil marble, my flowers first. And I've decided that I think my flowers would look good red, oops, red and yellow. Or sorry, red and orange. So, I'm gonna bring my orange color over here. And this is where I can. you can use your pipette if you have one. If you have a spoon, you could just kind of scoop it and drop it in. But I'm gonna squeeze the little ball up here and then let it go to suck up some oil and color. And I'm just gonna drop, 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 drop. Anywhere you want, till it kinda looks like where you want the, how you like it, how the colors look nice together in the water. And then I'm gonna take my red Stir it up a little again, squeeze the pipe bud, suck up some oil and color, and drop that in. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? When it goes in there, I like to watch that. When the oil and the coloring hit the water, it looks really neat. It makes a cool little effect. Okay, so I think that looks pretty cool. So, um, watercolor paper has one side that's kind of smooth and one that's like a little rough. You can't see it so well, sort of, but if you feel, you can kind of feel the rougher side. Usually it works better to put the rougher side down, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna drop it in like that. I don't wanna smush it in or anything like that and leave it there for a sec. And then lift it up. There we go. And it's good at this point, I probably should have mentioned it earlier, but to have some paper towel handy, I can kind of just move this and place it down, just like that. And then I would just continue on with my other two flowers and keep going with this. All right, now that my flowers are all marbled, I'm gonna work on my raindrops. And I think it would be cool to do the blue and the purple mixed in here for the raindrops. I think that would look nice. So I'm gonna again pour some water in. A little less than halfway. And I'm gonna grab my purple. I'm gonna stir it up there. Drop that in. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, and my blue. bit more and you can do as much <clears throat> excuse me as much or as little as you want it is up to you I think that looks pretty good okay now for my raindrops they're just smaller pieces again I'm gonna kind of feel this side feels rougher so I'm gonna put that side down Leave it there for a sec and then pick it up and put it here on a piece of paper towel. We'll put in another one, leave it there for a second and then just continue with all of your raindrops. And then after you're done doing all your raindrops, if you still wanna um, play with this and like experiment, you can use some other pieces of paper to make like little mini artworks. I'm just gonna put that down. And let's see how it looks. Whoa, cool. So you guys can go ahead and do whatever you like with uh, some extra pieces of paper too. 
Okay, so after you've finished oil marbling all of your pieces that you want to do, it's good to just let them dry on some paper towel. Um, sometimes, like especially if you don't have watercolor paper, if you were using maybe just con white construction paper, they can start to curl up. And a really good thing to do is put like a piece of wax paper over it and then put like a heavy book or a pot or something and let them sit overnight to really just kind of flatten them down. Okay, so this is how my project came out. And once you're done and yours are dry, you guys can decide if you want, what you can do is maybe tape these to um, a piece of paper and maybe even draw maybe some grass or like a rain cloud here, whatever you would like. I also think these look really pretty if you tape them to like a nice sunny window and the sun shines through. It, it's also, it makes a really pretty effect and it makes me think of spring. Did you notice the little droplets of oil floating on the top of the water when we did our oil marbling? Oil and water are both made up of molecules. You could say that the oil molecules and the water molecules don't get along, and that's why they don't mix. The oil stays on the top of the water because its molecules can't pack as close together as the water molecules. This means that the oil is less dense than the water. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun making some beautiful springtime creations. Make sure to join me next time for another fun art project from the Cary Area Library.